good Sunday evening or Monday morning as we share in our Monday's encouragement. Uh, we had a great service and services of uh, worship uh, this morning at Bethany. They're online. If you didn't watch it, you need to tune in. Uh, not so much to hear me preach, but go to the anthem and listen to Shelby and our choir do the anthem, Holy City. It was absolutely, I, I, you know, you say it was over the top. Well, it was over the top of over the top. It was just a blessing. So thank you for being with us tonight. Um, I, I'm going to start this Holy Week by um, asking us to focus again on the Palm Sunday parade and uh, all that went on there of how they look for one thing, but God was doing another. And God is always doing something in our lives if we can just look and see. You can count on God when you need God. Now, I want to read you part of devotion uh, tonight that I read. Uh, the Christian author Philip Yancey, in his book Prayer, tells about an acquaintance of his, a mixed-race young lady by the name of Joanna, and Joanna lived in South Africa. There was a prison in South Africa that was seen as, well, the most violent prison in the country. It was just, just terrible. And uh, because of her efforts of visiting that prison weekly, the violence began to change. Uh, it was more calm, it was more peaceful, just her presence and visits changed things. And uh, the BBC did not one but two documentaries on her. Trying to explain the results, Joanna said these words to Yancey. Well, of course, Philip, God was already present in the prison. I just had to make him visible. Hear that again. God was already present in the prison, I just had to make him visible. You see, at the great parade that day into Jerusalem, the people didn't realize what God was offering to them. God was offering to them the opportunity to be a part of what God was doing, to, to do a new thing. You see, they didn't understand because rather than starting at the top and working to the bottom, in a sense, Yancey says, God was starting at the bottom and working to the top to build a new world order, but more importantly, to build a new kingdom. He was starting with a small group of men and women that would grow person by person by person through the ages, till it transcended much of the world. That small army grew into millions of people and it's still growing today. It's building hospitals, orphanages, universities, schools, places of healing and places of help, places where the wounded can be healed and it's sitting the captives free. It brings people from the darkness into light. Of course, we're talking about uh, the church of Jesus Christ, and we're talking about you and I who are Christians that are a part of it. Christ is alive, and Christ is leading our church, no matter what we have faced this year. Christ is still leading our church, and Christ needs everyone to be a part of what he is doing to bring peace and freedom and salvation to our world. You see, that young lady who visited that prison and brought calm and peace, she was right. God was already there. God just needed somebody to help make God visible. So this Holy Week, 
as we think about the suffering of Jesus, know that God's there and God needs you. God needs you in your life to live in such a way that God through Jesus can be visible to others. God is still there. You can count on God. The question this night is, can God count on you? Let us pray. God, we know that you're there smashing the oppression, setting the captives free, bringing healing and hope and faith to our lives each day and through Jesus, bringing life and even eternity. So gracious God, help us to see and find ways that we can make you visible in our lives to others this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you. Have a good day. I love you.